It's the first time that the complete works of Eddie Burrup have been on exhibition and here in London the art scene was coming to buy. But the question is, is it really Aboriginal? The one Aboriginal face in the crowd, author Herb Wharton, doesn't think so. Even the paintings yourself, I don't see them as a, as a dreaming. And more, some of them remind me of a nightmare. Sort of, uh, and they don't, can't relate to them. But I, I see the merit in the painting itself. Eddie Burrup, despite his long biography and persona, never really existed. Now his creator, Elizabeth Durack, is dead. But the art of Eddie Burrup is alive and well here on exhibition in London and the controversy still rages about whether he should have been called Aboriginal in the first place. The painter's daughter, Perpetua, who helped her mother develop the Burrup character even on his very own webpage, persisted with this planned exhibition despite her death. One of the finest comments that, that I heard was somebody looking intently at the work and, and he remarked, the art transcends the controversy. But the controversy continues. Indeed, it's fuelled by this exhibition, something that gallery owner Rebecca Hossack thinks is a good thing. This exhibition raises the issues that Australia must learn to address, the issues of black and white Australia, and we must be able to discuss them comfortably, without vitriol and without vindictiveness. For now, it seems that's a debate more suited to the genteel galleries of London. Matt Peacock, ABC News, London.